Guys, we've already come really, really far. We've done all of this and now we're on this stage, creating a scoreboard. So what we want is to be able to write some text in our program that keeps track of the score of how many pieces of food we've actually managed to eat. Now the score should update every single time we hit a new piece of food and it's going to stay there and keep updating itself every time we hit a new piece of food. Now this scoreboard is also going to be a turtle. So one of the things that you can do with your turtle is you can get it to write a piece of text. And this is what the method looks like in the documentation. You can tell it what it should write, what kind of alignment you want. Do you want it to be in the center of the screen, on the left or right side of the screen? And then what kind of font you want. So the font name, font size and font type. So normal or heavy or bold or underlined. And we would call it more or less like this. So here's a challenge for you. I want you to go ahead and create a new file called scoreboard.py. And inside this file, I want you to create a new scoreboard class. Now this scoreboard class is going to inherit from the turtle class, just as we did with the food class. And then the scoreboard is going to be a turtle which knows how to keep track of the score and how to display it in our program. Feel free to choose whatever font you want, whatever size you want, but the end outcome we're looking for is something that looks a bit like this and the score is going to need to be tracked inside that scoreboard class and it needs to be increased by one every single time the snake eats a piece of food. You're going to need the help of the documentation. You're going to need to read up on how this turtle.write method works and you're also probably going to need this turtle.clear so that you clear the writing every time you update the score. Have a think about how you would solve this and then go ahead, pause the video and give it a go. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create my scoreboard class. And as I mentioned, this class needs to inherit from the turtle class. So from the turtle module, let's get hold of the actual turtle class so we can use it inside this file. And then I'm going to add it to my scoreboard as the super class. Now, if I create my init, I can go ahead and use this light bulb to insert the super class call. So now my scoreboard is a class that can do everything a turtle class can do. And one of the things I want it to do is I want it to keep track of the score. So let's say it starts out at zero and we want to be able to write this onto the screen. So we can say self.write. And let's use an F string to say uh, score. And then we can insert the self dot score value in here. And then we can add whether if we want it to be aligned to the center, for example. And then we can also add a font if we need to. Let's use the same font as here, Arial. And then we're going to make the font size a bit bigger and then we're going to keep it as normal. So I'm going to choose an Arial font size 24 and then the style is going to be normal. And as you can see here, I'm getting a warning here and it's telling me that it expected a tuple, but instead it just got a single string. So let's just compare this against the documentation code. And you can see that this is meant to be a tuple instead of just a single piece of string. So let me go ahead and fix that. Let's add some parentheses around this. And then this Arial is going to be a string. This 24 is going to be a number and the normal is going to be a string. And now our errors have gone away. So now going back to our main.py, let's go ahead and create our scoreboard as an object from the scoreboard class, which of course means that we need to import it into this file. So from the scoreboard file, import the scoreboard class. And now if I run this code somewhere in the middle there, I've got a scoreboard, but because it's actually black, you can't really see it. It's really important that we change the color 
of the scoreboard turtle before we write the text. Because if it was written as black and then we change it to white, you still won't notice a difference. So if I change the self dot color right here to white and I hit run, then you can see that scoreboard showing up. But if I move this line of code to after we've written it, then it won't actually make a difference. It's still written in black somewhere on there. Now, in addition, we want to get rid of the turtle that shows up when we create our scoreboard, because all we want it to do is we want it to write. We don't want it to actually show up a turtle. Self dot hide turtle. And now that little arrow disappears and we probably don't want this scoreboard to be bang in the middle. So let's move it. Let's tell it to go to a particular X and Y position. Now, in the example here, I've got it in the center right at the top. So we can keep the X as zero, but let's move the Y further up to the top. So let's say something around 270. And now if we test it again, you can see that the turtle went to the top, but this happened after this line was already written. So again, this needs to happen before we write. And now if we refresh, you can see it's moved to the top but it's also drawn a path to there. So instead of doing that, we can tell it to self dot pen up before it moves to this location. There we have it. We've got our score showing up at the top. Now all that's left to do is to keep track of the score and to increase it whenever the snake hits a new piece of food. So we know that that happens inside this if statement. When the snake head collides with the food, then we refresh the food, but we also want to increase the score. So let's go ahead and create a function inside our scoreboard class called increase score. And this function is going to take the self dot score and add one to it. And then it's going to call self dot right. So now back inside our main.py, we can get hold of our scoreboard object and tell it to increase score whenever the snake collides with the food. So let's test this again. And if I manage to hit the food, then you can see that the score is being updated. But what's happening is that the score is being written on top of the previous scores. So it's just all overlapping with each other. So instead, what we need to do is between each time we update the scoreboard, we actually have to delete what was previously on there. And because we've now got these two lines, which are pretty much identical in two places, let's go ahead and create a function instead. We'll call update scoreboard. And inside this function, we'll have our self dot write. And we can call self dot update scoreboard here and also here. So now before we increase the score and call update scoreboard, we can call self dot clear to clear the previous text that was written by this turtle, which is the scoreboard. Now, if we run this again, you can see that when I do score, my scoreboard is wiped and then the new text is written. So it doesn't overlap with the previous scoreboard. The final thing I want to do just as a finishing touch is I don't like having these hard coded pieces of text inside the body of my programs. So instead, it would be much better if we could take these pieces of text out and create constants with them. So we could have one that's called alignment set to center and then another one called font, which is going to be set to this tuple. And then I can use these constants down here. So align equals alignment, font equals font. That way, when I decide that I want to change something about the alignment or the font. So for example, instead of Arial, I might go for something that is a little bit more video gamey 
uh, sort of font like Courier, then I don't have to dig through the body of my program to find out where it was defined. I can just look at the top, which contains all the constants, and then fix it right here. That shouldn't have changed any of the functionality. It's just made our scoreboard look a bit more video gamey, and you can see it works perfectly.